Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Tech Coders, and today we are going to solve question number one eight seven three E of Code Forces that is building an aquarium. Okay, this was the part of Code Forces round eight ninety eight division four. So this is the question. Let's understand with the help of an example and the diagram. And over here we are going to use the first test case that is this one three one two four six two five and our resultant given given water unit says nine. Okay, let's go. So as I said, guys, we are going to use the first test case. So over there the value of W was nine units. Okay. And this is the at most, which means that we can have max to max nine units of water. Okay. Now, what we are intended to perform in this question, we are supposed to draw or make walls in either of the sides of height h, such that it can have at most nine units of water. That is, the value of sorry, the units of water should be closest to nine. It should be nine, or it should be less than nine, but it should be as closest as possible to nine. Okay. Now we are done with the question part. Now the question arises: How we can solve this problem? Okay. I am saying that. For every value of h from h is equal to one, I'll keep on checking how many units of water I can hold. Okay, h is equal to four, h is equal to five, and we'll keep on checking, and we'll keep on. Checking. Okay, and I'm saying that the time for value or any value of h, if I'll get value that is units of water greater than nine, I'll simply print out h minus one. I'll simply print out h minus one. Now let's understand why h minus one. Okay, for h is equal to one, I can see that there are corals in every column, so I can't hold any unit of water over here. So it is zero. Now for h is equal to two, I can say that there is one units of water, so I can write one. For h is equal to three, it is one, two, three, four. So it is four. For h is equal to four, it is gonna be five, six, seven, eight. It will be eight. For h is equal to five, it will be nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It is thirteen. So now I reach this case where for h is equal to five, I am getting number of units of water greater than nine. Okay, so I'll not count furthermore. So what I said at that time, as soon as I'll get this value, I'll simply print out h minus one. Now let's understand why. For h is equal to four, I got eight over here. For h is equal to five, I got thirteen. So I can say that for every value of h greater than four, I'm going to get values greater than nine. For every value of h greater than four, I'm going to get values greater than nine. So it's of no use to calculate it furthermore. Okay. And h is the maximum value for which I'm getting my units of water closest to nine. So that's why I'm printing h minus one over here. That is four. Okay. Now the question arises: How I can calculate these values? That is zero, one, four, eight, thirteen. What I'll do? I, I I'm simply going to subtract my element of array my height. I'll do h minus i i, and I'll keep on maintaining its sum. And when we'll come out of this loop, we'll have our sum. That is the maximum number of units of water for a particular height we can hold. Okay. So yeah, I got my answer. Now at at that time, I should be saying that yeah, I'm done with my solution. But no. In question itself, in the constraint, it was given that the maximum height of all these corals can be ten to the power five. Ten to the power five. Now I imagine I'll if I'll iterate from i h is equals to one to ten to the power five, and in each step I'll calculate how many units of water I can hold for particular height. So that in the time complexity will be really very high. Not just high, it will be very 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 high. Okay. So our code will not work. So now the question is, what is the optimal solution? So let's discuss that. So see, what I was doing at that time, at that was at that time I was calculating for one. Two, three, four, five, six, and like that. So now I can see that this order is in a sorted form. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times like that. Okay, this is an increasing order. So can I use binary search over here? Can I use binary search over here? That is for each value of m. That is mid middle value. I'll check if I can have units of water closest to nine. If it is more than nine, I'll decrement my height. That is the high value. And if it is Less than nine. I'll simply increment my low value. Okay. So let's see how this approach will work. So for the sake of understanding, let us say that my L is at this point, and I'm having the maximum height as ten. H will be ten. In question, it is given that it is going to be ten to the power five. But for the sake of understanding, we are taking H is equals to ten. Now, how we calculate the mid value? L plus R minus L by one by two. Sorry, by two. So see for this case, what is my middle value? It is five. It is five. So I'll calculate for this will. So over here I was getting thirteen as my answer. So it is greater than nine. What I'll do? I'll make h as my mid. I'll make h as my mid, and then again I'll calculate the mid value. Now at this time it is gonna be three. How? Let's see. M is equals to two is my one. Five is my high. Minus one five two. It is three. Okay. Now I'll calculate for this value. Over here I am getting value as four. Now this is less than W. Now this is less than W. 
there may be more values of h where i am getting units of water closest to 9 so that's what i'll do at this point i'll do l is equals to mid l is equals to mid when i'm getting greater value i'm doing h is equals to mid and when and when i'm getting lower value i'm doing l, l is equals to mid okay so now what will be my new mid value it will be 4 it will be 4 now i'm here i'll calculate my answer and i'll get 8 over here okay now see this is also lower to 9 this is also lower to 9 so traditionally what should be doing at that time i should be doing l is equals to mid and i, I should be again calculating mid and, and checking it but now see this is not the exact binary search over here it is an application of binary search so we'll modify it a bit okay so see as i'm at 4 i've already calculated for 5 so it's of no use to go further more okay it's of no use to go further more so now i'll come out of my base condition which is l should be less than i minus i i minus 1 okay i'll come out of it and i'll simply print out l over here because for every case because for every case you will get your correct value at l you will get your correct value at l so that's why i'm printing out my l value okay so what is l over here l over here is 4 okay got it so yeah this was our understanding part i hope you understood all the concepts over here let's move to the coding part and after analyzing all the codes and all you will be more clear of how you can approach and how you can solve this question okay so let's go so see guys this is my code i haven't included those part of taking inputs and all okay so here i have taken my value of r now i'm going inside now i'll check for l while l is less than r minus one this was a base condition as i told you over there so now see we were calculating for every value of height that is how many units of water i can hold for a particular height h so, this, so that's the variable over here which will maintain the sum of all those units of water okay this is our mid for a binary search now we were calculating for each element what we're doing at that time we were subtracting our height by a of i we are subtracting our a of i by height sorry it was opposite we were subtracting each element of array with our height and we were keeping it sum so here this here the s is total height is mid as we are doing in a binary search and a i is coral dot height okay coral is the array where i'll have the height of all the corals all the columns or all the corals over there okay now as i have calculated total that is sum now if my total is greater than available if my total is greater than available available is the units of water which is given in the question available is the units of water given in the question if it is greater than nine that is uh -huh. we, we have discussed for nine so i'm taking nine over here if it is greater than nine what what i was doing at that time i was putting r at that time i was calculating with a high variable and here it is r okay r is equals to mid mid and if it is less than available i was doing l is equals to mid we are done with this and we'll and we'll keep on iterating keep on iterating until unless i'm not getting my exact value okay and as soon as i'll come out of this loop i'll simply print out l over here and as here l was 4 okay this is my code i hope you understood all the concepts and logic over here so yeah guys if you have really if you have any query or any, and any doubts about all this explanation then please drop that in a comment i'll definitely help you out to come off come out of it okay so like this video subscribe our channel share this with your friends who is participating in all this code forces round okay thank you for watching guys have a good day